Uh, today we're going to be doing a couple fixes. Uh, there is no noticeable oil leak yet, so perhaps after a drive to Tucson and then back here, or back somewhere, we'll find it. <coughs> like I said uh, yesterday, earlier in the video, this is uh, going to be installed. This is really easy. You just bolt it here, bolt it there. It goes in the front. This is uh, for the swing arm bump. Let me just show you guys. If you don't know what a steering stabilizer, that right there is a steering stabilizer. Uh, today we're going to be working on the back on the differential oil. I got a gasket. I also have uh, like a squeezy gasket. And uh, I have new gear oil, the semi synthetic. It's different for all vehicles. Just got some of this uh, Lucas stuff right here. Not sure when the last time it was replaced. I want to make sure Dan is in tip top shape. Alright, so this, this is the rear differential or axle or gear lubricant. There's a bunch of crud right there. You said this thing came out of the rust belt. That thing's not bad, really. Yeah, well, it only had 100,000 miles, so it wasn't so bad, huh, for uh, Pennsylvania? And not bad, huh? Yeah. So, uh, Badge, got any tips for uh, taking off the uh, differential? Yeah, put it on a 2x4 or 4x4 four and lift it up just a little bit. But other than that, no. The big thing you got to watch is it makes a mess, right? Yeah. So, you got to keep a bolt in to the last minute and then just break the bottom loose. And you'll see when I take it off, we'll just take it off a little bit at a time. Yeah. Because it, it's going to make a mess. You just got to minimize your mess is all you have to do. You just take it out a little bit, right? You just take this out by the thread. Right? See, this has got that silicone on it, so it's not going to fall off like a reusable gasket. You take the bolts out, it'll just fall out. This one won't because it's got that real good Ford stuff on it. Yep. Okay, so now, okay, now you got to remember that the oil level's up to here, right? Yep. So from there down is all oil. Yep. So you got to know you got that much oil. Okay. Then you just pry it out real gently, right? Yeah. Because you got like, uh, I think it holds like three or four liters, right? Yeah. A couple quarts. Three three or four quarts, almost almost a gallon, I think. And then just, see, you left the two bolts in there. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about it going choo, and all over yeah, the place, right? Yeah, falling off, yeah. And you just let it drain slowly. And then after you get it down a little bit, where you got your bolts, you stick the screwdriver in there and then push the top down, right? Oh, nice. Yeah. And then it just drains it a bit more, right? It looks pretty, it looks like maple syrup. Get the pancakes. <laughs> Get the pancakes. <laughs> See this tag up here? Yeah. If you pull that tag off there. Oh, yeah. That tag's got all the information you need off for that differential. Yeah. And you take that tag in and it'll tell them everything they want to know. Believe it or not, everybody picks on Ford, but that gray silicone that Ford uses, uh -huh. that stuff is, is really good. That's really good stuff. So now what we have to do is um, take a razor blade and clean and and clean that right up. Yep. Because you, if you leave that on there, the chances are it might leak. So this doesn't have a gasket on it; it just uses a gray silicone. Uh huh. Yeah. That that gray silicone that Ford uses is unbelievable. All right. I think Permatex has got a product like it now, but not. Yeah. That Ford stuff. Yeah. International uses it too. And so I got the per I got the Permatex. Yeah, it's just killer. These are the two we use: is just a razor blade like this. And this one, now when you're using this, be very careful. 
because it catches on the metal and then it'll go. And if this slips off, it'll cut you bad. Like it leaves a nasty, nasty mark. But I use this on the close areas, but I use this one most of the time because you can control it. It's really flexible and you lock it in and it'll just take that stuff like off clean. Oh, wow. Right? It just takes it off clean, but you gotta just, just I can't emphasize how much it's important to keep your fingers away from it. Yeah. Because it'll, uh, because the thing with the, when working with the razor blade, you always put gloves on or something because it'll cut the glove before your finger, believe it or not. Wow. But just be so careful because you, you don't really need not to see it. If you run the razor blade flat on the edge, because it's cut in such a way, you just run that along there, it'll clean it off spotless for you, clean enough that you can put it back on. You don't have to get it spotless. You just got to get it flat. And you just run that around there, and it comes off pretty clean. This one here sometimes will work a little better to get it flat, see? Because you got to get all that silicone off the thing, off around the bolts, because you got to get the bolts back in there. But don't worry about getting silicone on the bolts. Don't fill the bolt holes though, because then the hydraulics, and it might, I've never seen it, but it might crack the housing, or it'll stop the bolt from going in and then it won't go tight. But that's pretty far-fetched, but it's possibilities are there, right? So yeah, that's all you do is that there. All right. And just scrape it around there. Now you gotta, one of the big things you gotta remember is the brake line. You got a brake line holder up there. You gotta make sure you anchor that brake line because the vibration going down the road, the brake line will probably break. So you gotta make sure you put that holder back on and that goes on the top bolt. You just clean that up. We'll get the brake clean and we'll spray her. And she'll be good. That oil wasn't that bad, really. But see where the silicone will curl on in the inside? Yeah. And it'll give you an extra bit of uh, seal there where the gasket will only go to there, right? So that's why the silicone, and that's that gray stuff that Ford uses. It's unbelievable. Like International Ford, it's really good stuff. Like, you, it's hard to get a leak with that. But just make sure you get all the old stuff off because as soon as it's used once, it won't reseal. This is, I'm gonna take a chance and think this was synthetic oil. It looked pretty good, like it's hard to tell it's synthetic. But sometimes when you go from standard gear oil to synthetic, you might get a wheel seal leaking. You might. It's, I know back in the 90s it used to do it all the time, but now the seals have changed and a lot of them come from the factory with synthetic, so it's not much of a big deal anymore. But there's always that possibility that a seal will leak, right? That's just water and, and contaminants in the oil, right? So you want to get that out. Because the oil doesn't break down, it's all the stuff they put in it, right? So and this is where you're getting that, it's just, just the oil. It's not broke down, it's just that it, it leaves that slime on there, right? So you just, that's what you're cleaning out. That, that's what you're after is to get rid of that stuff. And you clean it, you know, it doesn't have to be spotless, spotless but it's got to be pretty clean. It's not like a dentist's office or nothing, but. <laughs> Here is your killer. If there's chunks on there, you got big issues. See, that's more like, they call it dust, right? It's just dust. That's a magnet in there and it's just dust. So that's mm. not a big deal. Now, if you got chunks on there, you gotta find out where the chunks come from. Because that's- It could be a gear or something like that. Because right? that's a piece, that's a piece yeah. of the differential breaking yeah. off. Yeah, but this is just dust. They call it dust, that's nothing to worry about. But the chunks, you have to worry about the chunks. You don't have to worry, you gotta find out where they came from. You might not worry after you find it, but you have to find out where they came from. And that's why you gotta clean this up and clean the differential up, is because if some guy sees that somebody changed the gear oil, they'll think, they'll assume that it's all clean, right? Well, if you leave dirt in there, it could take the differential out, right? So it's like a catch-22 thing. But you just clean it up, that's good. That's clean as you're gonna get it, right? So this is uh, stuff I snagged at the uh, auto parts store. It's uh, a gasket maker. I also have a reusable gasket or uh, like a hard gasket, but uh, it looks like we'll probably just use this. This brake clean takes all the oil foam off, right? You, can, you notice there'll be no oil left on there at all. Yeah. And you just clean that up like so. 
there. Now see we sprayed it down and you notice the black stuff on the cover? Well, the black stuff's on the diff too. But see now we got it all gone. It's all gone now. Yeah. There's none on it, right? And all the oil's out. So, you know, sometimes if you want to just change the oil, some got a differential plug underneath. Not very many, but they do. You can drain the oil out of it. Some people suck it out. But then the only problem with that is you don't see inside it. So you don't really know what's inside there, right? Right. So that's why taking the cover off is kind of handy. Well, being a mechanic, you're going to take the cover off anyway because you want to see what's in there, right? Like this thing's like brand new. So it's at least now you know when you go down the road, jocks, that your differential's in good shape. So. so then what you do is you put a gob in here on the inside of the holes, right? And you're going to say, what the hell you do that for? Well, if you put it on the inside of the holes, the gear oil, the, it'll go to the inside of the differential. If you put it on the outside of the holes, it'll go on the outside of the differential. So that's where you want that little thing, right? And you just put a, oh, I don't know, a couple uh, sixteenth or so around there. And then when you put it in, it'll squash because it'll go metal to metal, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just make sure. That you get in between the holes. Don't put it on the holes because remember I told you about the bolts and the silicone. Because mm -hmm. this stuff, you can't press a, uh, a, a hydraulic, right? It'll hydraulic on you. Mm. So you can't compress the solid. So that's why you don't put it in the holes. Now the problem is, is trying to get it in there looking like that. Because <laughs> we got a long way to go. Yeah. But then anyway, what you do is you put it up on the differential and then you just put a couple bolts in. You put them all the bolts in before you tighten any. You don't tighten any of the bolts. Because if you do, what happens is it'll cock on you or get crooked or something and you won't be able to get the bolt in. Then you have to take them all in done and play with it. I don't know what the hell I show all this tricks to you. <laughs> you put the cover on the bar and just use it for a guide, right? And then you grab it and put it, now just remember, when it goes up against, it stays. You don't take it out. You put it up against the differential and wiggle it around a bit. And then it stays. You never take it off again. Unless you have a problem. But if you don't have a problem, don't take it off. Because if you pull it, you might get an air pocket in it. And then it could leak. But chances are slim to none on that one. But yeah, you make sure you start all the holes bolts first, because you don't, some of them, some of the covers, they only give you a certain amount of wiggle room, right? And if you notice, if you use that cheap silicone like we do, it'll hold it up there for you, just like a spare set of hands. You see? <laughs> nice. Kind of cool. It is cool. And then you ask the customer, do you want that tag or do you want to put it back where it was? Yeah, let's put the tag back on. Okay. See, but if you just put it up there, you can move it around. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. But if you tighten the bolts up, you can't move it around, right? Yeah. Because right now, that's sealed. You could virtually... Let that dry and drive away and then thing would stay on there because that's how good that stuff is. But don't try that. Just I'm just saying. <laughs> this has got all the information for that rear end because you remember he said he had a gasket? Well the guy had given the wrong guy. So if he had that tag, he probably would have got the right one. But they probably thought it was a smaller one, but it's a this is a bus has got a little heavier chassis on it. Yeah. So. But like everybody says, all the one tons got the same differential in it. Well, that's not true. In the top, you want it to seal, but you don't have to really worry that much about it. Oh, that's right. Because seal, right? Right, because the oil never goes that, yeah, that high. It's not going to go up there. It splashes around. Like if you had no seal and no gasket in there, you'd know real quick because it'll that gear oil will go everywhere. And don't forget about your brake line. You got to get that clip on that brake line. You have to, because that brake line will vibrate and break. Yeah, the big thing is to make sure you try to keep the silicone away from the holes as much as you can, because it, it, it 
chances are you'll get the bolts in there and they'll go tight. But if you put it in and the bolt doesn't go tight or it goes tight and there's still a gap, then you have to take it out and dig the silicone out of it. Oh boy. Ah, it's not too bad, but it's not no fun either. Now, if you got a limited slip or a pause unit, you have to check and make sure if you can get away with ordinary gear oil or you have to put an additive in it. Most of the GMs, you have to put an additive in it for this limited slip. And if you put gear oil in it, it won't work. It'll just, it'll wreck it. Great news. So you have to just make sure if you got a limiter or a pause unit, make sure you get the right oil. Great news. I got stuff that doesn't require yeah, some any are, stuff some there. Some of them are going that way now. Yeah. I yep. think a lot of the Lucas stuff, you don't have to worry about it. It'll go both ways. See, the more they warm up and heat up and cool off, you get moisture in it, right? Every time, because you got a breather on them, right? Yep. So they get moisture in them. And like even my Dodge, it's only a 12. And when I did it, I only had it for a year or something. And I took it out and it was right milky. Wow. So yeah, it doesn't even, like it's not four wheel drive. How did the moisture get in there? So. It probably because probably you're towing, huh? It heats up. Yeah. So uh, this is before I started towing with it. So yeah, you just, that caught me off guard too. Like I, I never suspected that. Now this plug does not hold the differential in or any of the gearing so you don't have to tighten it up a ton. All you want to do is get it set at seal so you don't need it that tight. That's why I tell everybody to use a 3H ratchet because you can't get it that tight. Okay, now. See, that's that plug we had, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, now this isn't an advertisement for Morgan Lucas by any means. But this is how you put the gear oil in. You have to use um, Lucas oil products because the jug will collapse down. I'll show you what it does. It makes it so handy. Now, you got to end. You have to cut that off. You're only going to get a little, like half this bottle or a little more than that in it. So you just keep adding it to the bottles, right? So what you do is you put it in the thing and just squeeze it in. And these bottles are made to collapse. Only Lucas bottles do it. And you just squeeze that bottle right in there. Like so. Okay, now there will be very little in that bottle. But only the Lucas bottles do it. High five. Thanks for helping me with the uh, differential. So we were just under the bus a second ago. Uh, where do you think the oil's coming from? Oil pan. <laughs> a, 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 I think the oil pan's loose. Loose oil pan. Man, who would have thought that? Not me. Great news, we did find the culprit. And hey, what do you say? Is that a common uh, common find? Yeah, it is. Matter of fact, is it? But the problem is, you just take the bolt. And they're very small bolts, so don't get too aggressive. And just tighten it up, and the chances are it'll quit. It's a crazy thing, but it will. It'll quit leaking, and it, huh? And if it doesn't quit, then you have to pull the oil pan. But it's the oil pan, not the rear seal. Interesting. Well, that's yeah. great news, everybody. No serious problem for Dan the Adventure Bus. It's a very small, minor one. All right, now I'm going to... I'm gonna do this one all on my own here because I feel like that's pretty easy to tackle and then uh, work on that thing too. All right guys, we got the new steering stabilizer in. By the way, if you got some hard to remove bolts, a torch is your best friend. Well, this is what uh, tonight's sunset looks like. Another good one. It's interesting how the camera picks up stuff this direction but not that direction because of the light anyways wow it was a long day kind of a hot day so when it's long and hot let's say they do laundry today too yeah yeah so a little tired need to definitely put some proper clothes on probably gonna shower camping setup is uh <laughs> already ready for me I think tonight I'm just gonna do a little turkey mixed frozen vegetables and 
curry powder. Little kick. So, um, oh, and also, I guess me coming here was kind of a cliffhanger. Because uh, I guess I didn't reveal the fact that I made it. <laughs> Sorry to uh, leave you guys hanging. <clears throat> I was on the phone with Claire Bear. And uh, I was trying to film that whole part and then showing up. And plus, it was a really long day and I was tired. Um, so, here's a spoiler alert for you guys. I am a human. <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm going to call it a day today. Day four today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on tomorrow's upload.